cradly besties it's Anna and welcome back to my channel in today's video I am so excited because I'm gonna be talking all about how I was able to write a book without any form of plotting I low-key don't know how the heck I did this but I did and it works so so well I was able to actually pants my way through this whole 50k book and it was actually my first book I've ever finished so these five tips I'm gonna be sharing with you in this video are gonna help you so so much before we get on please subscribe to my channel because it does help so so much and anyways let's go ahead and get on to the five tips okay so I actually have a huge um, list of these five things that I've like literally helped me so so much um, and also this is my bookshelf by the way I want to kind of um, do a video I think I kind of filmed it already um, so if you guys want to see a video of me like literally like transform my bookshelf definitely do but that's besides the point we're looking at the five tips that I want to give you guys that helped me literally write this book without plotting at all so the first tip is writing methods i think like my writing method in regards to like how i actually formatted my document really really helped basically what i did when i wrote this story and by the way the project that i kind of finished without you know plotting was i first met you in a graveyard i do have a vlog of me finishing that book up there definitely go click that vlog um at the end of the video however yes so that was the project i was working on and i think the initial kind of writing method that i used was using boxes to start my book boxes and also this specific font called ariel i love that font so so much helped me get into the mindset that i'm actually kind of writing my book but in a very like simple way i think pantsing is something that is extremely hard sometimes and like free writing is very confusing so that's why I really appreciate using short sentences whenever I start you know writing a free writing project so with I first met in a graveyard that project I literally had chapter one chapter two in like two sentences that's literally what it was because I knew how my story was going to start and I didn't want to waste time in regards to like actually plotting out like exactly what happened in that scene because free writing is just like so freeing and you can worry about that really later so I used boxes to begin with and that kind of essentially means is I you know formatted my document like this so I would have chapter one and then the name of my character since I was doing character chapters and then also you know the format and um, the chapter actually as it is. This format helped me especially in the initial start of my book just to kind of get you know my ideas running just to kind of you know feel like I was making progress in my book. Short sharp sentences and in boxes that is my first tip to literally it feels so weird I know like writing your book like that but it helps a lot and I hope this is making sense but yeah just try to format your manuscript in boxes first with short sentences and then throughout your book you can actually you know extend these short sentences and I'll get to that sort of idea in a moment because that's actually one of the tips. The second tip I have for you guys is short chapters. Make your chapters short and sweet. I think for me honestly like I seriously adore um, you know finishing off my chapters. I think it's so fun and creative and I just love like little cliffhangers and especially if it is um, my chapters that are actually in between characters. So for the two main characters it's Kaido and Amen, and I would have to like pick and I like sometimes people hate it but I adore it and where you like pick when this chapter is going to finish and then when your other character picks it up and it's just so fun I love it so so much but short chapters not only helps you kind of get motivated because you know when you sit down to write and you have your chapters it's like an actual tangible thing seeing your chapters kind of go up like oh you finished chapter five that was really really quick chapter six that's done already like it's such a good like confidence boost and also it literally helps you write your book faster I am not joking especially for pantsers by writing short chapters you're able to get through your book quicker because you realize how like your pacing and your writing kind of almost gets you know faster and faster and faster because you're nearing the end of your book as you keep writing those different chapters and try not to do chapter breaks or scene breaks try to keep it keep the flow you know so short chapters such a great tip my third tip is to focus on characters you've probably heard me say this so so many times and that is the fact that 
I just have this like saying that I like to say and I really just always think that characters are so important in books so I like to say the saying of the plot doesn't happen to your characters but the characters happen to the plot. I think with my project I first met in a graveyard I focused on two main characters. By focusing on just two main characters and what happens in between those two it was so much easier for the plot to kind of surround them and I think having that mindset of remembering that you know your characters are the most integral part of your plot I mean yeah because you can kind of think like is your book a plot driven or like a character driven story I like to think it can be both but first through characters so if you focus on your characters and just their journey your plot will fall into place because I think pantsers they get so caught up in the plot and like wanting to have like really cool ideas or like you kind of have plot holes or you just like get worked up like is this a cool idea or like how do I even come up with ideas to begin with if you focus on your characters everything will fall into place I think just being very clear at the start of your story but also having faith in your characters to let them tell you their story big disclaimer is that your first draft is gonna suck it's gonna be terrible like it's not gonna be the best thing and I definitely think my project um, I've like finished the manuscript and stuff like that in literally a month through using these tips but like yeah that is not the best work I've obviously done and that's okay it's just getting the story down telling yourself the story and seeing your characters come through your plot that is it so yes focus on your characters and everything about the plot will fall into place tip number four is if that kind of is a little bit of a struggle for you and if you kind of do have a lot of trouble coming up with kind of what happens through your characters if you do struggle a lot with plotting and if you're a pantser like me who like can't really plot for their life and at least needs like an idea of where the story wants to go but you still very much love the idea of free writing since you are a pantser my tip will save your life and that is using scenes oh my gosh this literally has helped me so much it's insane. What I did before I even started anything to do with my project is I literally just got out my planning document and put down random scenes, random places in my book that could be part of the story. Since my story was set in a graveyard, there were specific places, not only in the graveyard, but also in the town that I listed. And they actually became not only like places the characters went, but also plot. Because it literally became the plot and also really cool ideas like for example I literally just had like um, a scene in that list that said like playground and I kind of thought of that idea and that led me to the idea of a playground with a red slide and then that led me to the idea of the significance of a playground with the red slide and how that actually impacts the characters so not only did it help me kind of let the characters go to that place and thus causing like an idea to just spiral in my mind about how they got to the place and thus the literal plot but also the characters and what they think about that scene and if that scene that setting is actually um you know very very important to them you're literally like your story is literally just focusing on where your characters go in your book and therefore like what happens in your story how characters meet in those places, what characters think of those places, you know, what goes down in those places. They are like literally the, the seed of your idea for your plot to bloom and it helps me so, so much. So write down those scenes and your ideas will come, I promise. The fifth and final tip that I kind of used and kind of realized that really helped me through this process was practice. And I know it is definitely like, ugh, Anna, like, I do enough practice and it's still really hard and like that's okay, that's okay. I think something that really helped me get through this draft so quickly without any form of plot whatsoever, I'm not even kidding, I literally just started to write it and I finished it in a month and it was crazy. But that is just the mentality you have. It's really weird because sometimes I would just sit at my desk and be like, okay, I want to write on this book. But don't do that. When you sit at your desk, say like, I'm gonna finish this chapter tonight. I'm gonna finish, you know, two chapters tonight. And it got to a point where that vlog that I kind of have linked in the iCard is I literally sat down and was like, you know what? I'm gonna finish my book tonight. 
and it's going to be the last thing I do tonight. If I don't, then I'll have to write into the morning, I'm going to finish my book tonight. Having that mentality, I mean, it's like daring yourself, like challenging yourself. And sometimes it is difficult and you have to pick and choose your times you do this. But that just like really got me through the book so quickly because I was like, you know, may as well like try. So the mentality and just like practice turning up every single time and just seeing how you go like writing something but also sometimes challenging yourself to finish particular parts of your book so yes a lot of patience a lot of commitment a lot of practice however a little tip that i have to kind of tie those in together if you are kind of still struggling with that is the 20 minute five minute break 20 minute rule so 25 20. i have been using this to write my school essays to write you know my books even short story writing, this has helped me so, so much. So if you are struggling with that, with patience, with practice, just try that every single day. And I'm sure you'll pencil through like it's nothing. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely subscribe to my channel. And again, I really hope these tips really just helped you and just made you think about your project, think about just getting it done and really just realizing that it is possible to pants your project, like nothing's impossible. And if you also need more inspiration slash advice, definitely check out my podcast, which I have been doing a lot of episodes every single week. So definitely go check that out. It's on Spotify. Go follow me there because it really, really helps. And also I have an Instagram account right here. So if you guys want to follow me there, I post a lot of really pretty photos that I've been trying so hard on. But yeah, I love you guys and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.